What if I told you there was a song from the early 1990s so loaded with star talent, and yet most people, and possibly even you, do not even know it exists? Spoiler alert, it is not We Are The World, and in this video, we're going to give it a listen. Hang tight. Hey again everybody, my name is Francis and welcome to Music Kingdom. If you'd like to support myself and the work I put into these videos, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel further, you'll find Music Kingdom's Patreon and other affiliate links in the description below. Now before we listen, I'll provide a brief but necessary bit of context so that we don't go into the song completely blind. In 1993, Eddie Murphy, the man most of us recognize as a comedian and an actor, released his third studio album. Many of us are probably not even aware because that album was a critical and commercial failure. Despite one of the most popular songs of the album being a duet with the great Michael Jackson. Michael and Eddie were good friends and he was probably doing him a favor. In case you're curious, that song is called What's Up With You? One word, all smushed together with a Z in there. And uh, if you're a music nerd like myself, I encourage you to go check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's fun, it's nothing necessarily to write home about. Now the opening track on the album, which we'll be listening to shortly, is called Yeah. Yeah, and it baffles me how obscure this song is, how few people know the song exists. Why does it baffle me? I'm about to tell you. The song Yeah consists of the following artists. Aaron Hall, Amy Grant, Babyface, Barry White, John Bon Jovi, Elton John, Emmanuel Lewis, On Vogue, Garth Brooks, Heavy D, Howard Hewitt, Janet Jackson, Johnny Gill, Julio Iglesias, Luther Vandross, MC Hammer, Michael Jackson, Patti LaBelle, Paul McCartney, Richie Sambora, Stevie Wonder, Audrey Wheeler, Sandy Barber, Teddy Pendergrass, Stanley Clark, and Herbie Hancock. Are you kidding me? Outside of We Are The World, perhaps one of the most, if not the most, famous iconic song in the history of music, this is perhaps the most star-studded song in existence that so few people know exists. Thanks, Eddie Murphy. Let's give it a listen. And keep in mind, I didn't choose a video where it just had only the album art. I chose a video that is doing a slideshow of several of the artists in the video. So it's worth noting, I don't know if they timed it exactly with everyone who makes an appearance, nor do I think they included everyone I just read in the slideshow, but it is a bit more engaging than just staring at the album art. So let's get to it. such a simple song and yet I think it's really good. <laughs> How did he manage to get all of these people? There's so much soul. Very reassuring song too. I feel very safe. These aren't just famous people. These are legends in the music industry. Oh. 
What a song! Paul freaking McCartney. The song could go on for 10 hours and I would fall to listen to all of it. Michael's falsetto is too soft. Um, if I'm gonna say anything to Eddie Murphy of all the things that could be said after this song, thank you. Thank you, Eddie Murphy. So there it is. I'm like, what the hell? What a trip. Now, obviously, it's not the most beautifully composed song, nor the most intricately produced song, but damn if it's not a vibe, especially if you're into the genre of R&B or soul, or especially that Motown era of music. A lot of legends in this song. I mean, even if you told me there was a song by Eddie Murphy that had the biggest name in the world, Michael Jackson, and Paul McCartney from the biggest band in the world, or even Elton John, a true legend and icon in his own right, I would still probably not believe you, but then you throw in the likes of Stevie Wonder, Herbie Hancock, or MC Hammer, or Barry Wyatt, all these names, so much greatness, and yet what amazes me is basically there's only one lyric to the song, which is the word yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, with it being R&B and soul, there's going to be ad-libs that aren't the word yeah, but it is basically that word for the duration of the song, and I don't get sick of it. I find it a very soothing and uplifting and saucy and stanky. Personally, I've known about the song for many, many, many years, and every time I'm, I'm re-listening to it and getting into it, and I have the curiosity to just look it up once again, especially in the age of information we live in with the internet, you can still find little to nothing about the song. You would think, like, whether it's Wikipedia or some obscure blog or something, that there's some story, but no, even in preparation for this video, I thought, well, let me search one more time, just in case, and there's nothing, aside from the fact that it exists, there's really nothing to be said about how that song came to be, why that song came to be, why nobody knows that that song came to be. So if you're someone who was around in that era, who for whatever reason knows the story of that song, please let everybody else who's watching this video, especially me, no. Otherwise, let me know what you thought of the song. Were you already familiar with it? Was it new to you? Give me your thoughts overall. I mean, speaking for myself, I'm grateful it exists because I listen to it quite frequently. And at the same time, I'm just baffled. It's so enigmatic. That song, despite its simplicity, or maybe because of its simplicity, has a real way of of raising my vibe, of lifting my spirits, making me feel warm and fuzzy, and let's be honest, I mean, that is, in terms of R&B and soul, a hell of a track. As mentioned, if you'd like to support myself and the work I put into these videos, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel further, you'll find Music Kingdom's Patreon and other affiliate links in the description below. This has been another edition of Music Kingdom. Thank you so much for listening with me to a song that is so star-studded and yet so enigmatic at the same time, a song that I believe more people should know about. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll look forward to jamming with you in the next one.